going to take a quick look at the analytics, Google Analytics, in the pro version of UiPress version 3. Uh, just do a quick rundown of how it works, uh, what you can do with it, and have a look at the different options. All right, so let's jump in. Just going to go, we're in the UI builder here. Let's go into this blank layout I've already created. And uh, with the pro version activated, you're going to see we've unlocked a lot of the blocks. And um, also, the purpose of this video, uh, we've got the Google Analytics uh, blocks down here. So we've got three different ones. Um, we've got charts, real time, and tables. Uh, so let's take a look at the charts first. So this is just it loading up the data and um, you're going to get this message straight away. Uh, it's just asking for the kind of chart you want to load in. So let's just click into the options, block options, and you're going to have this. So we've got the analytics chart title, which we can change. You can also use dynamic data for that. Um, and this is what it's asking for right here is the chart metric. So we click that we're going to see all these different options for what we can show for the uh, this specific block. Um, so let's just go ahead and choose page views. And that's going to load up straight away. Um, if you were first time using this, it's going to come up with um, with an option to sync your Google account, um, just in the same way version two did. Um, but I've already done that. So it's just loaded straight away. Um, you can change that to anything you want haven't made revenue with Google Analytics, sessions, engagement time. You can also change the default date range, um, the line colors. Uh, if you like, you can hide the chart. Um, there's also an account disconnect here. Um, you can remove the Google Analytics account and sync a new one. If you want that option for that template, leave it in. If you don't, you can disable it. That's going to be useful for site admins setting up a global um, Google Anal Analytics account. They don't want their users um, changing the account. Um, we can also change the chart type, switch that to a bar. Um, yeah, so that kind of is a brief overview of that block. We can have a quick look at the other ones. They work in a similar way. Again, real time, it's gonna ask for a metric. Let's just do active users. We've got 31. And for tables, again, very similar story, metric. Uh, let's just do country visits. And here's our data with that. Um, and the other cool thing about UiPress version three that we introduced unique to this version, um, if we go over to settings here, um, in analytics, just down here, we've got this option. Now what this does is allow you to um, have the analytics account synced on a user level. So if you were running a multi-site, for example, and you want each sub-site to be able to set their own analytics account, or even if you had your own just single site website, you can set this and each user can come in and add their own account if you want to set that option if you don't ignore it and that's how that works now you might be thinking this is all great but how do i change the date range um, so this is where another new block comes in with the pro version um, and this is here called the group date range uh, and what this does is change the date. Right now it only works with analytics, but as we develop more blocks, this is gonna come in useful for other ones. Um, but anything within this group date range will um, update itself. So let's drag one of those in. And we've got the state picker here, simple. So maybe I want um, just this chart in the group date range, right? We can go in, we've got that there. Um, and now, oh, I wanna see the last seven days worth of data. It's only gonna change what's in this group date range. Um, you can have as many of these on a page as you want. Um, so it's super flexible, allows you to really fine tune what data you wanna see and how, how your users interact with it. Um, 
so this all looks messy like the the features are there um, but let's just go back to uh, a template I built earlier uh, so this is kind of like an admin welcome page that I've put together um, we've got a few options here we've just got some brief uh, analytic data this is kind of how it's going to look as an admin page uh, yeah so we've got the analytics these are all in their own date range uh, let's change that to the last seven days. You'll notice the active users doesn't change because that's live data from the last 30 minutes. Uh, date range isn't going to affect that. Um, uh, this template is also available in the theme library. Uh, here we have it just down here. And just quickly, we'll run over some other cool features in this one. Uh, this is the plugin updates block. Um, this allows you to just instantly update your plugins wherever you drag this block. It's going to do that for you. And there we go, updated. Um, and another cool plugin related block is the new plugin. Um, we've got that just here. So we can actually search for the whole WordPress repository. Uh, that's UiPress right there. Um, you can also install plugins straight from here. You can view details, super simple. And just to give you an idea of what this looks like in the WordPress admin, we've set it as an admin page. The name is analytics. Let's give it a icon with chart icon, make it active, um, apply it to myself. Here we go, analytics. And there's our page. So all these features and more are available in the UiPress Pro plugin that was released today. Um, check it out on our website. Um, and that'll about do it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and catch you next time.